Alright, so Star Wars canon books continue. This is the fifth book I've read of the Star Wars canon series. Now it's time to continue to our journey to Star Wars The Force Awakens with this one. Star Wars Lost Stars. Alright, so Star Wars Lost Stars is a very good book. I need to understand about this book. This book's not produced by Del Rey. The usual production people who do stuff for the other books like the old legacy books and then you also have the books like that just came out but this book was not really talked about much the book everyone talked a lot about was aftermath and i haven't read aftermath yet i heard it's not that good so stay tuned for that what lost stars is i'll set the story up it takes place the beginning of the story it takes place eight years after the events of revenge of the jedi what this story consists of it follows these two kid characters who we see them grow up when this war goes down so it begins with these two characters called sienna and thane both of these characters they love the empire really what they love is spaceships and that's one of the things i really liked about it, it reminded me of the miyasaki film i saw earlier this year called the wind rises the main character he just loved airplanes he didn't care what he had to do he just wanted to be around airplanes. That's all he wanted to do. And that's what kind of reminded me of this. They didn't really care about the Empire, the Rebellion, what was going on. They wanted to ride planes. So what this book really consists of, it's really, if you want to combine the two elements, you combine Star Wars with Romeo and Juliet. And also I would add a little bit of the Wind Rises in there just for the love of aircraft and space. But really that's only the beginning of the book. What's really interesting about this story is both of these two, they join the Imperial Academy. They're really loving the Empire and stuff. And once they join the Empire military, the stuff at Yavin 4 is going down. The whole stuff with the Death Star. The one character thing, he is positioned at the Death Star. And you see events transpire through the Star Wars story of Episodes 4 through 6. And that's what the book really did well. Like, my problems with the third Star Wars book, Star Wars... Heir to the Jedi, it felt like someone trying to write Star Wars. Where this one, it just felt like Star Wars. One thing I loved about the story was you have two characters who, one character, the Sienna character, she kind of knows what, how bad the Empire really is, but she has this honor and loyalty to the Empire that she cannot do it. It reminds me of Eddard Stark in Game of Thrones, where Eddard Stark, the smart thing to do is to play the game Littlefinger is saying play the smart way but his honor tells him to stick to his code now the difference between that is the empire is evil but she doesn't really know that she only can only go through the point of her view and that's one thing I really liked about it the propaganda the stories the empire tell it's really the way you, she sees it she's like I have no choice Dane at first he's like I, I'm just gonna surf through my first few years of my tour and I'm done with the Empire I am not doing this anymore but he saw slavery and he's like I'm done I can't handle this so he he quits and he joins the rebellion and it was a really cool story about how these two characters they would meet every once in a while and as soon as they were together they were together this, the chemistry between these two characters is awesome now the book is considered a young adult novel but it doesn't, it's not Twilight. So if you're worried about that, do not be concerned because it does not, the romance, it's not, it's not Padme and Anakin. It's Han Solo and Leia. And it's a really good relationship. Now the one, now the book says it's the journey to the Force Awakens. And there's only really one really answer to the Force Awakens. Well, I guess there's a couple. You find out the events of the Empire after the events of Endor because everyone thinks the Empire has fallen, but no. They are still at battle with the Emp with the Rebellion or the New Republic, which we finally confirm that's what happens to the Rebellion. They become the New Republic. So that was really, really cool. Okay, what was I going to say? But the other thing that really reveals about the Force Awakens. Alright, so everybody's seen the Force Awakens trailer. Remember that desert planet everyone thought was Tatooine, but we later learned it wasn't Tatooine. It's called a planet called Jakku. Remember the Star Destroyer in the desert? That gets answered in this book. Really, that's it. But really, that's all I need. That's just a really cool Easter egg. You don't have to know it to go to see Star Wars The Force Awakens. But when I go see it, 
And I see that Star Destroyer, I was like, hey, that's the wood chip from Star Wars Lost Stars. That's really cool. So in the end, guys, Star Wars The Lost Stars is a great book. It's one of the best canon novels so far in the Star Wars story. The chemistry between Sienna and Danny was awesome. It reminded me of seeing the relationship between Han Solo and Leia. The little, it didn't for, the Star Wars story did not force itself on you, which was great. Like, you have brief characters show up, like Leia, you see Han. Like, the funny part, when they, it's like, oh, General Solo is going to lead the assault on Endor. He's like, who the hell is General Solo? And then later one's like, yeah, General Carissi is going to lead the battle of in space to the Death Star. And then once again, in his head's like, who the hell is General Carissian? And then just a great, just little Easter eggs. You don't really, it doesn't force the story along. They're not forced to be in it. They're just briefly in there. And that's what I really liked about the story. It's a great Star Wars book. I want to say it's in the top three Star Wars books I've read so far, the canon books, along with Lords of the Sith and Tarkin. I don't know what I like really from the three. I kind of like them all equally because I really like Tarkin because it was really a really cool biopic. Lords of the Sith was just really awesome. And this one was just a cool relationship story. So that's what's cool about these Star Wars canon novels. You're getting something different from each one. So I'm going to give Star Wars Lost Stars an A. I really enjoyed this book. Read it if you get a chance. Have you read Star Wars Lost Stars? What are your thoughts? Comment below. Let me know. And guys, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to see more. All too easy. Yeah.